Rumble. And suddenly, Zenobia was there, advancing a Lapino. So the mad rabbit had survived. Save me, or I'm done for! Screamed Lapino. Zenobia turned, showing her teeth in a smile. You're alive! Renardo ran towards the witch. Lapino's the one who betrayed you! She shouted. He warned my father! Before he could think, Renardo sank his sword into the sorceress. Um... She stared at him, heartbroken. <laughs> no, Lapino's the traitor. Renato had an awful sinking feeling in his stomach. Then he felt a knife in his back. I'm afraid she's right, said the mad rabbit. I, I knew this. It. Then the sun went out. I knew Damn it. that he was. He should go back to some of the choices he'd faced before. Maybe there were new paths that had opened up. Like those doors he was opening up all over the map that took him to new treasures and around his enemies. And he hadn't learned anything new this time. He'd done the same thing twice, yet expected a different outcome. The definition of insanity, I know. But, but I should know by now. The book's pages now. fluttered to the beginning once again. Faster than before? And he fell. The clouds parted over the Isles of Boreas. It was time to choose. <sighs> the rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper had surfaced. Can I? Why can't Renata I skip knew this? that using it could go catastrophically wrong, but he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Oh, also. Boy. A temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Maybe he could find a way to use it. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. And also, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Of course, Renato had a pretty strong suspicion that Lapino had betrayed the rebellion. But could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? <sighs> well, going back here once more, but I'm not going to make you watch the same thing for the third time, so I'll be back soon. Renato knew that. Hmm. What would Lapino do if he knew that Lapino was going to betray him? Well, he'd concoct some crazy scheme, wouldn't he? That used Lapino's betrayal against him, and it would blow up in his face. Ah, uh, yeah. Maybe he was overthinking this. Well, that would be a first. Lapino would betray him, but now he knew this. And yet I can do nothing to f affect the outcome. Even though it just said that now he knew it. He knew he's a traitor. He knows it. Stop. Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. Right, yeah, we see this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows. And that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and, oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. I On know. the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Next time. But now we are going to go once again here. We'll get the goddamn... We'll get the goddamn Zenobia. We'll take her to the goddamn mountain so Lapino would 
The city was already under Zenobia's control. We still have the coordinates. I had to admire her efficiency. Hopefully. Renata shivered at the thought of Zenobia. Quiet. Okay. The observatory was a burning hulk. Dead scientists and black feathers Ooh, everywhere. The ravens had taken care to burn the reanimated witness to cinders. Zenobia stared around. Shock, take me to your council. Sip. She said, shaken. I have things to tell them. It was what Renardo had gambled on. The Zenobia would turn against her father once she knew his madness. But the rebel base was secret. Could he really risk taking the Emperor's daughter there? Nope. Not while Lapino's still out there, so we are going to the mountain. Renardo reached Lapino by far speaker toad. No. We should take her to the base. Insisted Lapino. No, I don't trust her. Nobody changes sides that fast, said Renardo. I better go to the base. Let them know you've got her, Lapino said. For some reason, Renardo wasn't sure that was a good idea. Just meet me at the far side of the mountains. There's a shuttle here I can take. Always has to be your way, doesn't it? Yep. Said Lapino. It's my way or the highway, bitch. Okay. Why didn't I just... Lapino was a traitor. He knew this. Yeah. So why didn't I just tell Zenobia him that... Zenobia was hey. still shaking as they got out. I didn't know, she said. The ravens kept it secret. At first they sacrificed prisoners. Then villages near the frontier. And then... An orphanage. Kittens. And puppies. Sometimes he'd come back to the palace and it was like there were glowing things behind his eyes. But I was so busy. I'll clear a path for us, Renardo told Zenobia, so the ravens don't see you. Yeah. Why couldn't I just tell Renardo, uh, I mean Lapino, hey, Lapino, the base is actually here. Who would have, who would have guessed? And then he'd be, he'd be like, oh, it's over here. Well, Raiders, come here. And then I'm like, oh, well, you're a traitor. I'll just... I'll just cut you in two pieces and... Uh... Renardo had been to a dungeon once where all the chests had teeth and eyes. Oh, Mimics. It had been a short visit. You can't possibly be afraid of a couple of Mimics, can you? This is a crappy situation. Yeah, that didn't go too well. That didn't go well at all. And there was an inscription on the platform. Balaleka lessons with an address. Which way? I guess this one is the shortest way. I just. Although I do need to find some chests. Because my health is just. gone, so. So, yeah. That's a crossbow, then a knife, what next? Oh, come on, I need food down the chests. I said food, not pumpkins. Oh, come on. I guess the more you visit the places, the less, lo less loot the frigging chests will give you. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's uh, next hit and I'm... Zenobia came up as he massaged his sore arm. Her eyes were wet. He's been saying strange things. He asked me to do... Uh, experiments. And some were wrong. They are banished, right? Said Renardo. Gone forever. I mean, he couldn't actually bring the old gods back, could he? She didn't answer him. That frightened him more than anything. I'm frightened by the lack of food I'm being given. Because I am doing poorly. They have to be perfect at this point, otherwise I am dead meat. And that's not really something I need right now. I'm going to die at the end of this run anyway, so... So I don't need to die in the middle, in the midst of it. Claw on him. Well, they really didn't. That was that was quite lucky on my behalf. Appreciate the food. Thank you. That's better than nothing, I guess. Oh boy. Come on. More food. No. Fine, I'll just, you know, not eat for a while. Need to watch my lines anyway, thank you. Healing fruits were great, but you can never get the stains out. You should really not worry about stains right now, except the blood stains. Renato wondered if he should have taken Zenobia to the rebel base for real. Maybe she wasn't playing him after all. After the bleak talk about the Emperor's dark secrets, he was regretting his suspicions. Yeah, but we have the mother of Lapino. They came up on an empty shack. He gestured her in. Where's the base? She asked, confused. I thought we could talk a bit first. Oh, you think I'm playing you? She was furious. I'm betraying my father, my father who picked me out of an alley, and you think I'm playing you? She lashed out. Her claws sliced fire into his face. Energy boiled in her other paw. But before she could kill him, he slashed his sword into her heart. Well, that she staggered. <laughs> I could have loved you. 
You son of a bitch. And then she died. <laughs> Renato stood there for hours, unable to move. Finally, a ship landed near him. Lapino had brought the Farfarer. That did his goat. On board the Farfarer, Lapino couldn't stop grinning. I can't believe you actually killed her. Why didn't I trust her? Renato said. All he could feel was emptiness. You killed the Emperor's daughter. You might want to run for it. If you care whether you live or die, that is. Since Renato didn't, he grabbed the wheel. <laughs> and he sailed for the Imperial fleet. <laughs> that didn't go... That didn't go the way I wanted it to go at all. Renato had never felt worse. Zenobia had listened to him. He had trusted him. She had opened her eyes to her father's evil. He had everything he had hoped for. And he had taken her to a dirty shack. Was he so used to lying that he couldn't trust even the girl he had always loved? Heavily guarded. He must go someplace they really didn't want him to go. This is going to go well. We are not going to get killed by Lapino at all. Right. I mean. The game is not doing what I wanted to do. God fucking damn it. Renato wondered if it wasn't cheaper to build bridges and stairs. That wasn't my plan! That wasn't my plan at all! Oh, come on. Give me that. Get down. He could see the rebels reeling back as he plunged into the ranks of the ravens. He'd had to kill the girl he loved. But he'd also blown the biggest opportunity they could have had. To turn the Emperor's daughter against him. Oh, Renata could only laugh miserably. He was taking crazy chances now, swinging wildly. He expected the Ravens to take him at any moment, but they were running in fear. No one wants to fight a man who doesn't care if he lives. No one wants to fight a hero. Ah! Oh, you got such delicious looking eyeballs! Caught the lead, Raven. Thank you, I think, said Renato. It never hurt to be polite. I'm... Seriously! That was not my plan. I... I'm at loss of words here. I'm, a... I'm trying to think too hard. Soon he'd confront the Emperor. Again. This time, he'd make an end of him. He'd screwed up last time, but he had a good feeling about this time. Yeah, except that Lapino's alive. Because you didn't do the fucking one thing I wanted you to do and trick Lapino into. Freaking giving himself up as a traitor. 